For an allergy sufferer, you know spring in Tennessee is no fun. The News Channel 5's Jesse Knutson spoke with an allergy expert who says more people are complaining this year, but not necessarily because they have allergies. When the sun starts to shine, the trees get their leaves and the grass starts to grow, people know that means it's allergy season. And while many people may think they have allergies, they might actually not. Right now is a bad time for allergies because we're at the intersection where the tree pollen is coming down, but the grass pollen is going up. Dr. So Cosby Stone Jr. says allergy doctors have been flooded with patients coming in, saying that they can't find relief from their symptoms, which he said can be because of the perfect storm of the tree and grass pollen being bad at the same time, or it can be because of a cold that normally doesn't crop up this time of year. Well, it's called human metanumavirus, and the CDC has reported that it's circulating at high levels. More than half of the people going to see doctors have actually been told they do not have allergies. So the problem with, you know, with colds and viruses is, and allergies is that they can initially resemble one another. The main way that you can tell if you ha are having a big flare-up in your allergy symptoms is if you are also having a big flare-up in itch symptoms. So if your nose is itchy, if your eyes are turning red and itchy, you know, then that's one way to tell if it's allergies or if it's just that bad cold that's been circulating. But with so many people moving to the area, many are developing allergies to things that they didn't grow up with, but it's not right away. It often takes a couple of full years of exposure to form an allergy to something that you've never really had a lot of tolerance for to begin with. Doctors suggest taking allergy medicine like many do, and saline rinses like neti pots can also bring a lot of relief. But the only way to be sure about allergies is to get tested by an allergy doctor. In Nashville, Jesse Knudsen, News Channel 5. Unfortunately, allergy symptoms won't go completely away until it starts to get cold again. But again, allergies can be managed if you have a plan.